All right, hot air balloon pilots and enthusiasts from around the world gathered in Albuquerque, New Mexico last week for the International Balloon Fiesta. While many went to enjoy the sights and even take a peaceful joyride, others, well, they were there to compete in. Gray Bogan tells us about competitive hot air ballooning. It could be among the world's most surprising sports. Yes, competitive hot air ballooning is a thing. And if you're good enough, you can win cash and prizes like cars, motorcycles, and even a house. It's kind of like a personal challenge. Um, just the fact of flying is good enough for me. Pilots are challenged with dropping markers and rings on X's and poles. But first, they need to navigate to the field. Right now, we're headed south, but we need to be headed northeast. So we're going to different levels of elevation, looking for wind that will take us where we need to go. Ballooning is patience. Don't make any quick decisions. Um, look around you and uh, see if you find some better place to land or balloons going in a direction you want to go into. Competitive ballooning is one with accuracy. The marker closest to the X gets the highest rank. And pilots need to hurry because time is a factor. As the clock winds down, excitement builds as pilots make their pass. When balloons go over Fiesta Park, they need to stay above 200 feet or they'll get a penalty. Inside the line, they can go to 75 feet. Over the field, they can fly at ground level. A team called the Zebras coordinate the balloons. With the launch directors, it's always, no matter scoring day or not, it's a safe, coordinated launch. The pilot gets help from the ground with crew members who set up the basket and cables and inflate the balloon with all that air. Maybe between all of us, we all get lucky and uh, we get be able to get a nice shot at the target. On this day, Mikulak didn't score. The competition ended before he could drop his markers. But he says he's still a winner. I just love to fly. I mean, it's uh, look at it. It's a beautiful morning. You're, you're floating over houses, and it's just a completely different experience. An experience that takes skill, and like most sports, a little luck, too. And in another competition called America's Challenge, a Swiss team set the new distance record when they flew their balloon 2,281 miles from Albuquerque to Newfoundland, Canada. Wow, that's a... That's it's a ways. A, that's a ways to it's go. A ways to go. Have yeah. you ever been in a hot air balloon before? N never. Would you ever do it? N never. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I've done, I've done it. My stepdad is a balloonist, mm. and it it is a really cool experience. Now, my husband, on the other hand, he's in your camp. He came up with me that one hey. time, and he says he's done it once. Smart He'll man. never do it again. Yeah. I, I mean, I did it on a video game once. But okay. That <laughs> that's it. as close yeah. as you're gonna get. That's it's a neat perspective. I, I would tell you, don't be afraid if you have the chance to do it. Go for it. It's pretty cool. All righty then.